Okay, thank you for joining me on this little quick video here. Just wanted to show you what it looks like now for the next four, maybe five months, depending on the night temperatures. I have my east side stand on the west side now. So this is the story here on the west side. On sunny days like today, I should normally be bringing out all my orchids and have them enjoy the sun for like six hours a day before taking them in at around 5 p.m. for their evening layover until the next day. So I haven't done that yet. I have as yet to get myself organized. Just pan you around slowly and uh, meet King. This is King. He's a two month old Harlequin Dachshund and he is from Cordoba. And he's a distraction like no other. He's been not even in the house for 20 hours as of yet, almost 24 hours. And he's a gift from my daughter, Christmas and birthday combined. I had no idea, absolutely no idea. But he is precious, of course, there you go. He is precious, of course. There is also a story behind this breed. Before my son passed away, he had actually reserved himself a Harlequin Dachshund. And he's, it couldn't honor his commitment because he passed away. We couldn't honor his wish. For one, I was still in the States trying to get home. He, and then when we came and combined households, Balu, Chico Bueno, Chico Bueno, Chico Bueno. Balu was still a puppy and Thierry went through some major health issues that um, it wasn't conducive to bring another puppy in because we always thought it's best to let Thierry try to live out his years in retirement as stress-free as possible and then uh, have Balu enjoy his youth somewhat without as the stress of having to be so quiet all the time. So a third puppy, of course, was not feasible. King, Ben. My son had named his puppy King. So when Thierry said goodbye, I had already given all his things away. And I was actually done with the story of dogs. I would be dog sitting. I don't mind that. But then uh, King arrived and you can see what is going on. And on the right here are my Rapiculus Lelias. So I'm having a little bit of a th time with this little guy. He's, did I mention he's from Cordoba? And he didn't come in a box. Thank goodness. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't support that, but my daughter had him brought down by car and they met the breeder halfway. He is super clean. I don't know the breeders. I have not seen the parents, but I have a very big thing for how breeders take care of their pups and sell, etc. So he is super clean. There is not a flea. All his paperwork is done. He's still too young to be chipped, but we'll get there. And um, yeah. I have to admit, I have mixed emotions. I was already switching off my periphery vision, my hearing, etc., filling in all the blanks with a lot of filming that I managed to do. I have a backlog of videos, but I also have to say that if you don't see a video of mine every other day or something like that, that is because I am trying to train a puppy 
as well as uh, make sure that uh, I get time in to edit without making mistakes. So playtime usually lasts about 40 minutes and all the other bodily functions are like around the clock, well so far anyway. King, good boy. I have my stand still hanging out here. It's been quite pleasant since the storm. And over here I have other little the vandas, the big ones that I would like them to enjoy as much winter sun as possible. It's nice and toasty against that wall. Cousin it there is really sparkling, looking amazing. Needless to say, I am very distracted, but I did want to show you something before I sign off and something else gets chewed up in the background. <laughs> Look at this, the Reserato Stylus Rubrum has opened its little bloom and it is tiny, 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 tiny. I can't detect a fragrance, but if I can get in close enough, maybe we can see some detail. Look at that. Crystalline white purity. That's better. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And eventually this one can go live outside once it's established, which is great. So for the time being, I still have it in its original pot. I'm not doing much with it at the moment since it's first watering. I've just left it. But eventually I'm going to have to think about, I'm possibly thinking uh, Akadama mixed with perlite for this one. But first of all, let it get established and settled. So, yeah, a detached video. I will try and get my act together and figure out how I'm going to organize things in the coming weeks until King has found his mojo here and I've got a rhythm going. Thank you everybody so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry for the shaky camera. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.